This presentation is about counterfactual thinking and how it is motivated. Have you ever found yourself immersed in daily what if thoughts? What if I had studied more? What if I had more money? These thoughts are known as counterfactual thinking. It is when you imagine an alternative for an event and how it would have affected your present reality. These thoughts happen more frequently than you think and most of the time the process is voluntary. However, in some cases it can also be involuntary. So what motivates counterfactual thinking? Counterfactuals are motivated in the instance of a failed goal. A strong emotional response following failure initiates counterfactual thinking. The anger experienced after failure is found to motivate stronger counterfactuals in turn stimulating a greater impulse to achieve your personal goals. Counterfactual thinking can be described by two theories, the norm theory and the functional theory. According to the norm theory, counterfactuals are a basic part of human cognition. You can very easily compare the consequence of a real solution with an alternate. When you experience greater feelings of regret, it will be easier to imagine an alternative outcome. The functional theory states that counterfactuals are very helpful and beneficial to a person. It proposes two pathways in which counterfactuals influence behavior. The content-specific pathway states that the actual content in a counterfactual thought can influence behavior and according to content neural pathway, when you stimulate an adaptive motivational approach, you can actually change your future behaviors. There are six types of counterfactual thinking. Upward counterfactuals are when you think of a situation better than your current reality and downward counterfactuals are when you think of a situation worse than your current reality. According to additive counterfactuals, you introduce a new antecedent to the current reality and in subjective counterfactuals, you eliminate the antecedent. Self counterfactuals are when you imagine how your own actions could have given different outcomes and can also be harmful to yourself, whereas in counterfactuals, you envision how the process of another person would have changed your present reality. Engaging in counterfactual thinking has many advantages. For example, it can increase willpower, make you put an extra effort when performing tasks, and also induce creative cognition. It can also come with disadvantages, such as causing negative behaviors, for example, self-harm due to failure, and can also cause feelings of depression, guilt, and anger, to name a few. That concludes the current presentation, and I hope you enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.